Hello and welcome back to another video of the Brainy Heart. Today, we'll be talking about the major landmarks in our brain. So, before I start off with labeling the brain and telling you where each landmark is, I'd like to discuss gray matter and white matter just a little bit. So, let's start off by talking about gray matter and white matter. There's something called white matter and gray matter. And this is the brain and and this is the spinal cord your brain has gray matter all around it on the outside and a little bit on the inside so gray matter is not gray in this case but it's pink in color and there is white matter inside which is white so Basically, gray matter is just um, neural cell bodies and dendritus, and we'll talk more about dendrites and um, neural neural cell bodies in future videos. Um, and and white matter is basically myelinated axons, and the the reason why the white matter is white is because the Myelinated axons contain something called myelin, and it, it contains lipids, and and those lipids have a white pigment, so that's what causes the white matter to be white. And in the case of a spinal cord, um, there's gray matter on the inside and the outside is white matter, just um the opposite of what. The brain has um that's just that's just the basics of gray matter and white matter um i explained it to you guys because in the future videos i might refer back to gray matter and white matter so yeah i just wanted you guys to know what they are so your brain has four different sides and this is what is used in the medical world instead of saying back front top and bottom they call it dorsal which is the top and posterior is the back anterior is the front so the difference between anterior and dorsal is that dorsal is like your crown of your head and front is more of your forehead and that part and ventral is like the base of your brain And these terms are only for um, the brain. And if you're talking about a spinal cord, um, let's let's say this is a spinal cord. And if this is the dorsal side, and then this is your back, or and if this is the ventral, then this is your tummy, basically, or your stomach. And that's different from what you say in, um, when you talk about the brain. So just so you know, this is what is used in the medical world. And it's different for the brain and the spinal cord. So and now that the directions are clear, the brain also has gyris and sul sulci. A gyri is the bumps. And the sulci is the grooves. So, so for example, this is a sulcus, and this is a gyrus. So, that's just another term, or that those are just two more terms that you might come across a lot. Now, let's go on to the landmarks. So, the first landmark that I want to talk about is the lateral fissure. So, the lateral fissure is supposed to divide the frontal and the temporal lobe. So, the frontal lobe is right here, and the temporal lobe is right here. And 
I also wanted to talk about the central sulcus. The central sulcus is this line right here. And this is supposed to divide the frontal lobe from the parietal lobe. And right next to the sulcus or the central sulcus are the pre central gyrus and the post central gyrus. So the pre central gyrus is located in the frontal lobe. Um this is the pre central gyrus and it controls sensory skills. And sensory skills are like the input skills. So you see something, it gets um you see something and it's taken to your brain that's sensory. And motor is basically an output. So the bre brain is telling your hand to move. That's an out output. So the precentral gyrus controls motor skills. And the postcentral gyrus, which is right here, or somewhere around there, controls your sensory skills. I also wanted to point out the preoccipital notch. And this serves as a boundary, and the preoccipital notch is that line right there. Um, and it serves as a boundary between the temporal lobe and the occipital lobe, which is at the back of your brain. And there is there is a boundary between the parietal lobe and the occipital lobe, but I'll show that to you um, in when we're talking about the other landmarks because you cannot really find it in this view. You have to look at it from a different view. And just another few major organs inside the brain or parts of the brain are the cerebellum. And this is the brainstem, which connects the brain with the spinal cord. And yeah, those are basically the two main parts that I wanted to show you in this view. And these are all the landmarks that you can find when you're looking at the brain in a lateral view. And this view is called a lateral view. So, just so you know. And this is the right hemisphere. Now that I've told you all the main landmarks that you can find when you're looking at the brain from a lateral view, let me talk to you about some of the major landmarks when you look at the brain from a different point of view. So this view is the top view or the bird's eye view of the brain. So right here, this is the front, um, this is the back. There is um, one main landmark that I want to talk to you guys about. So that is this line right there. Let me just redraw it so that's more accurate. This red line is called the superior longitudinal sulcus. Or it is also known as the longitudinal fissure. So, you can use either name to talk, describe this. The main reason why this is a landmark is because this is the line that separates the right hemisphere from the left hemisphere. So, that's the major reason why we named this sulcus and this is the main reason why we talk about it. So, yeah, that's one sulcus that helps you determine which, where the right hemisphere ends and the left hemisphere starts, or vice versa. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it. And I'm always open to comments, questions, suggestions. So check out my blog at brainyhearts.wordpress.com. This is the Brainy Heart signing off. I'll catch you later in the next video.